Let's please. Okay, my friends, this is just for me to go really, really fast about it, do this stuff as fast as possible. Uh, quickly, what can I tell you out of all this? Did you see this area here? I have identified one individual uh, with a great proximity of his city. I have identified two towns in vicinity of each other, and between the two towns, his town was located. Uh, these are good people who actually, uh, you know, there was a lot of people that wanted to help me out on that MK Ultra. Uh, the thing, however, is that the name everybody heard about it, Kirkuk and Masul, but and it's something you can remember. But the name of the city where this gentleman is from, it's not so easy to remember. At least I have not heard one or whatever. I don't know. Kirkuk Masul appears to me more likely than, you know, and so on that MKL I was told that if I can do something like this by the people who wanted to help, um, you know, that would be like, wow thing. And I did it. Now, the videos I'm going to have coming are just as brutal uh, about the watch. Watch is what I like. That one, I like it. It's not that I don't like Zgersh too, but what was in Watch, that's, that was something, that's something really to see it. Uh, anyhow, the other individual, however, I did make a mistake. Uh, it was a lot of people involved in it. There were people from also Afghanistan, Iran, many locations that were involved in it. Uh, but unfortunately, on what I first focused, which was uh, Syria right here, uh, and I have had thoughts even on Jordan, on this area right here. Unfortunately, uh, I somehow lost uh, focus and I went for Afghanistan. It just happened so, okay. Uh, but if you hit one with 100% like I did, and that's why I'm going to release the whole audio recording, because in the whole audio recording, you can hear me discussing about Syria and um jordan well in that case i mean this is a little bit more difficult than to find the needle in the haste is more than 500 million people that lives uh in this area here chances that you would do something like this are slender that you would go and point out the city of an individual no unless you have the knowledge of it that's the only way. The people arrived from Warsaw Immigration Center at about, I think it was something for the lunch. I think it was like, it might have been what, three o'clock, something like this. The audio recording was done sometimes either eight or nine o'clock, something in between over there at night. Okay, so this is a few hours of difference. Uh, it was, uh, I was absent for the day, I was outside. Uh, I was not even there, and uh, when I came back, the only thing I did was uh, I worked on my projects, which didn't work out too well because it was quite a lot of noise inside of the room. I packed up my stuff. I was uh, in another room where I went to work in our old room, which they have renovated now. This is where I was, uh, and, uh, you know, I started to concentrate on this two individuals if I possibly could pull some information out of my head in respect to the two. And I did. Uh, I did so really well. Uh, so well that uh, I would like United Nations to get involved in this stuff immediately. There is no reason to hold me here like this. There is no reason for me to face some kind of, you know, any kind of persecutions that people are running after me with knives and me being subjected to radiation and stuff like this. There's no reason for that. Again, I was again radiated like a mouse. 
uh, tonight. I don't know what is it, what what's going on with this place. This place is completely out of control. So, uh, in general, this uh, locations, uh, this immigration locations, this was this was just a total mess. What went on is just no good, and I don't, I'm not interested in having anything to do with the Russians. Uh, Russians are just uh, a trouble, a pest in this case. Uh, what Putin sent here to do is just uh, nothing else than a problem. And to stay in the game, and eventually in the final stage, if they cannot stop it, as well as mine, they're going to play along with it. And I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't want to play along with them. I want to make myself clear. I want them out of the way. I have nothing to do with them. I have never had any problems with international people, uh, wherever they might be from. But when it comes to the Putin's Russians, these are these are just the criminals that are hired to create problems. That's all there is to it. And this is not what I came to Poland for. Uh, these people. The only thing they did is they radiated. They boosted the hypertension to the levels that are totally uncontrollable. Uh, it creates tremendous difficulty, health difficulty. And this stuff is administered by the Polish physicians because this thing is being watched by the Polish physicians. But you're going to go and you're going to drink something that would suggest to someone third that is watching this stuff uh, could have impact on hypertension. The only thing that's going to happen that you're going to get radiated like a mouse. It's well calculated and it's well administered operation. My hypertension issue is still very controllable, but in not surroundings as such. This is the way it is, and I'm asking United Nations to get involved in this stuff. Uh, I am driving on the edge of stroke for already over a year, about one year and about five months now. Uh, the only thing I can hear is shh, like ready to rip apart things, uh, veins. It's no good. It's bad. Uh, and there was all kinds of other stuff went on. They have added stuff to the food that boosted the whole thing to the level that you were going to die, that you were going to collapse. That doesn't happen anymore because I control the food resources, because I watch what exactly I get inside of the food. And so that is under control, but I do not want to stay in this kind of settings. I'm asking the United Nations to please, uh, you know, get me to a secure location and please stop this. It's not okay what goes on.
could be one, two, and then you had another location. There was somebody, one guy who also I think we had somebody from let me think about this in here. This area, this area, and that area, but this is like fucked up. But this is this, this is really guessing it. This is guessing. Because you how the fuck are you gonna remember this?
actually pinpointed out two people who arrived today uh, that we already have met in I am not sure precisely about the two when when this was if it was in 2006 I cannot say that because I was brought back uh, I'm not gonna say exactly that it was in 2006 I was brought back it also could be in 2008 uh, but the important thing is we did met here at this center already so it's nice to meet these people again uh, it would be impossible for me that I would go and pinpoint the location to the, such a vicinity uh, for the other one however I made a mistake but if you listen to the original uh, recording the whole thing uh, you can see that initially I anticipated that he is from Syria, Jordan, something like this. And then it triggered uh, to me Afghanistan because there, there were also people from Afghanistan that were uh, present and I was asked about Afghanistan too and so on and so forth. And so I'm pretty good at this stuff. I quite remember a lot of stuff. Not completely everything, but this is already dangerously very fucking good, I would say. Lion, sheep, firework, toilet, scissors.
remember when I asked you about do that, do that. yeah yeah when oh. I when I asked you if you are from such and such city let me see this again because I looked that on the map Okay, when I ask you if you're from Masur or Kirkuk, remember? Mm-hmm. Last night I asked you mm-hmm. if you are either from Masur or Kirkuk, and you told me you are from Erbil. Mm-hmm. Remember? But how would I know that you are between Masur or Erkuk? Either of the city. How would I possibly know that? The book. No, but how would I possibly? You didn't tell me that, right? No. You did not. No. Okay. That's all I want to know. Okay. Thank you so much. And you know, thank you very much. Thank you. Supposedly we never met before, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night, uh, sir. Yeah.